Right, are you guys? Welcome back to Warrington Filming, Painting, Decorating, Trade Secrets. Okay, and I'm just doing a little video up here on uh, a little trick for you, a handy little uh, trick or tip, okay? As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm at the top floor of a three storey with a sloping white roof, okay? Coming down onto the wall. So all this is white, yep. Yeah? And uh, then these walls coming off the side here are in magnolia, right? Okay, so when you're cutting the magnolia to the white, you know, you can get it where, you know, you just can't get a really good straight line, right? Now, if you've been in the trade, you can probably get a, a, a proper straight line, but if you're doing it at home and you're redecorating your your, your bedroom which has got a sloping ceiling which follows all down on white as you can see then you've got a cutting with magnolia i'm just going to show you a little trick for you so you get a really sharp finish there right and, and like i say you might find if you're doing it yourself at home you struggle to get a straight line now if you use masking tape what will happen is if you was to mask the white off and then hit the magnolia onto the masking tape to get a straight line. What you might find is when you pull your masking tape off, it'll damage all your, your white paintwork, okay? And if it pulls pulls the paintwork off, you'll end up having to fill where it's pulled it off and re, <clears throat> re emulsion it in white. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you this particular magnolia that I've cut into the white, right? And I've purposely not got, I've purposely made it so I've not got a really straight line just to give you this example, okay? So let me just show you the, um, the cutting in and then you'll be able to see the finish, okay? Well, as you can see where the magnolia is cut into the white, hopefully you should be able to see that not a very straight line, okay? So there it is. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just going to show you a little trick with the corking gun. Right, as you probably, you can probably see, not a perfect uh, cutting in line. So all you've got to do is get yourself your corking gun, right? Ideally these are the best corking guns to buy, this type, not the one with the wraps around, okay? Cut yourself a small piece off the end of the nozzle, okay? And dead easy, all you've got to do is just put a fine line of, of, of decorator's cork where, where your cutting in is not very good, okay? So all I'm gonna do is just put a really fine line, like that. Don't have it too thick or you're going to see a load of mastic. Okay, so that's all caught there. Make sure you've got a relatively clean finger, okay? And then just run, run your finger down there. And that will give you a nice, sharp finish, okay? So let me show you that. Hopefully you can see that quite well. Got a nice finish between the magnolia and the white. Okay. And it's uh I think you can probably see there, you think. There you go. And that's basically how you get a nice sharp line if you're not too good at cutting it between your magnolia and your white. Obviously, what you do, you will go all the way up and around there so you've got no joint and you can see them at the uh, the cork all the way there gives you a nice sharp line 
Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Guys, welcome back to Warrington Filming, Painting and Decorating, Trade Secrets, right? And today I've just got a little thing that might interest you, I'm not sure. But basically what it is, if you do snagging and uh, touching up houses or plots quite often, you'll probably know that um, when you actually, uh, you've got your, your roller here, which you use, hold on. You've got your roller here that you use for touching up. The reason you use the roller is because it doesn't leave uh, brush marks and uh, you don't get flashing, okay? Then as you can see with the bucket, what I've done, I've got this little bracket I've made here, which might interest you, okay? And as you can see, it stops me brush from falling over, okay? So when I'm running around the plots, touching up, Right, what you'll find is I'm having to hold my brush and my roller and I've probably got a bit of sandpaper in my hand as well for, for rubbing down any snots on the wall. Uh, what a lot of people tend to do, they'll just keep the brush in there, keep taking it in and out and as you're running around the plot, what, what can tend to happen is your brush falls over in the paint. Uh, that's happened to me quite a lot and I thought to myself, well how can I stop that, okay? So basically what I did, I've made this little bracket here, right? And all that is, is the handle off one of the emulsion tubs. What I tend to do <clears throat> is, I've said, like I've said before, I tend to use what I've got in the plot to save carrying around extra equipment in my car, car, in the boot of my car. So when I'm touching up plots, I will just put a bit of emulsion in the tub. Uh, and I'll use that for touching up all the walls and ceilings, etc. But like I say, my brush falls over, I get paint all over my brush, gives you a problem. So I've made that little bracket, which as you can see, you put that in there, you can run round doing this, that and the other, and it doesn't fall over in your top, which can happen. And then all you've got to do is that, okay? And then just do your bit of touching on, etc. So you might find that little bracket quite handy <coughs> to use when you're touching up plots. Uh, like I say, it's just used off um, uh, the handle of, of an emulsion tub. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how I've made that. So as you can see, there's the handle off, off a basic 10 litre emulsion tub, okay? Just get yourself some pliers, okay, some sort of grips or something. Get that in the middle, like that, where, where it bends there. Just bend that round, okay. Same on the other side, get it near there. So that's the bit where the, the handle is in the middle. Bend that around, okay. Where your next bend is there. Just bend that like that. Same on the other side. Now I'm going to do that. Like that. Bend that there, twist it in. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything, uh, you don't have to try and make it good looking or anything. Okay, so you've got them like that. Then all you want to do <clears throat> is just bend that top piece over so you've got somewhere to hook it on, like that. Same on the other side. Okay. Bend it into suit. And then you've got a similar sort of thing there. For touching there. You can alter it, you can shorten that bar there if you want so you've got less room for it flapping around, but that's basically how you do it. And that just stops your brush 
if I'm falling over in the tub of paint, it makes life a little bit easier for you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Facebook, and uh, Tumblr as well. And uh, until next time, catch you later.